In October, over 90 actors from 12 countries came together in Berlin to deepen their cooperation in the areas of return and reintegration. Voluntary and sustainable return and reintegration are at the top of the political agenda in Germany and other European countries. To support these, all levels of government within and between countries need to collaborate closely. This dialogue was commissioned by the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development and the Federal Ministry of the Interior, Building and Community. It was organized by the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, GIZ. The central question was, how can European countries improve the coordination, complementarity and quality of return and reintegration programs? We have, um, uh, of course, the, the, the viewpoint of the Ministries of Interior, but we have the viewpoint of of, of, of the development world, um, of the NGOs, but we have also not to forget the, the, the views and the perspectives, the wishes and the aims of the migrants themselves. As I've said, the decisions governments must make about returning migrants are complex. And this is because many different policy interests are implicated in these decisions. These interests intersect, Sometimes they conflict. In a panel discussion, representatives of the German Interior and Development Cooperation Ministries stressed that they were collaborating closely. This has the goal to reconcile the development and domestic political understandings of the topics of return and reintegration. The sustainability of reintegration efforts depends on whether returnees succeed in achieving economic, social and political participation. During three workshops, participants shared experiences and came up with forward-looking ideas for interlinking return and reintegration, monitoring and evaluation and existing EU programmes. The key success factors for return and reintegration programmes are the following. First one is that all the actors work together. Foreign affairs, development policy and migration policies, actors work together in a joint uh, effort. The next is to work on country ownership, to bring the perspective of the partner country into the picture. Another important element is to connect and link all the different actors working on the ground, international organization, civil society and government authority. And last point is that we need to make it sure that European member states can use more systematically the opportunities that are existing under EU programmes. A range of key wishes were put forward during the event. First, the monitoring and evaluation of programmes should be improved. Second, the global compact for safe, orderly and regular migration should lead to a better balancing of interests between countries of origin and destination countries. Last but not least, the interests of children should be taken into account when their families return to their country of origin. So I think this has been the start of a really important conversation that we need to continue going forward. There's a real scarcity of research and evidence on what effective reintegration programming looks like. So going forward, we should share our lessons on what we've learned in our respective countries to improve this. I take from this conference that, and I knew this before already, but I experienced it again, that we all need to work together, all different actors from civil society to governments, all government departments involved, that is key.